so much for your presence here, for your hospitality, for your welcome, for the run of this morning, uh, the situation after the running uh, was terrible this morning. Grazie. Questo, this is uh, on. Okay, thank you very much. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Italian, it's a French uh, microphone. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's joking. It was it Germany? Uh, after the running, uh, the situation of my leg are terrible uh, and the uh, ram um, is absolutely fresh and uh, dynamic. Uh, um, but I'm really happy because, um, let me be very frank with you, I consider Mayor Ram Emanuel a great leader. I remember the first visit here uh, when he was uh, chief of staff in uh, White House. Uh, I considered, uh, and uh, with my, my team, one of the most uh, uh, dynamic leader and uh, this morning he talked me about every project for Chicago. This is the symbol of quality of leadership in a city because uh, if we, uh, I image, okay, tomorrow morning uh, I, I will speak yesterday, I said uh, uh, tomorrow morning I will speak about um, primaries, uh, uh, Trump, Clinton, Sanders, Cruz, uh, I will discuss about terrorism. Uh, he told me about bike, about lake, about project of innovation, about the students, about the school, and this is the symbol of the high, high quality of project for a city. As former mayor, I consider that the most important thing. So thank you so much, Ram, for your leadership and good luck for the choice for Chicago. Obviously, we discussed also about primaries and the rest, but I don't. It's impossible for me to to. to say something about it now. Uh, so, uh, Italy is in a very particular moment, very good moment, uh, because after a lot of polemics, Italian polemics, we are finally in condition to create and to write a new page, a page of future. Um, Italian parliament, uh, after a lot of years, uh, approved a lot of reforms. The first is the reform of um, jobs market. I use this expression jobs act exactly. I copy the expression of a President Obama. I ask him the permission. He told me, okay, don't worry, it's open source. So I use, uh, I use jobs act as brand. Um, finally, we change electoral law. If I ask, a I, I, I ask a question for you, how many government in 70 years uh, served in Italy? Uh, no, 85, 85, it's uh, too much. 63 in 70 years. Terrible. It's very good for the uh, uh, dynamism, but not uh, very good for the longevity and uh, for quality of process. So with the reforms, finally, in Italy, we come back to stability, exactly as normal country. And this is very important for a lot of things, for reduction of taxation, for change of a, a public administration system, red tape uh, of bureaucracy, cut red tape of bureaucracy. Finally, we come back in the traditional infrastructure to normality. This is very important for us. This is very important because Italy come back to, to uh, stability, but this is not sufficient to believe in the future. So it's okay to solve the problem of the past, but we want a future. It's not easy. We want a future in Italy because the past is gorgeous. The past is uh, incredible. The past is fantastic. But we need a future, particularly in a country rich of the past. We love our past, but we love also our tomorrow. And in this, in this uh, uh, field, uh, the Ambassador Varicchio, the decision to discuss about impact, innovate and integrate uh, with the Confindustria and uh, the rest of France in a very great place, because University of Chicago is a great place uh, around the world, is one of the most important uh, uh, place for the innovation around the world, and thank you so much for hospitality. So this, the decision to discuss about this point is particularly important. And uh, 
I believe the only thing Italian government could offer here is the strong determination and commitment to invest in this direction, in the human resource, in the human uh, relation between university research, entrepreneurs and uh, um, uh, business context uh, with great, great, great determination in the next uh, two years until the, the end of legislature. We believe possible create a page of future in Italy. It's possible for the big count for the big companies. I am very appreciate the presence here of Sergio Marchionne. Uh, it's not uh, Mr. Sergio Marchionne and Rami Manuel worked very strongly in a very particular moment during the, 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 the crisis of car in the first years of uh, um, Obama's presidency. I think this uh, challenge seems an incredible challenge, but it's a victory for both. It's a win-win uh, challenge it's a, for White House and uh, for <laughs> Fiat Chrysler, for President Obama, Rami Manuel and the staff, and for Sergio Marchione. And I consider, obviously, this is the most important uh, traditional company in Italy. And from Fiat Chrysler to the last little company, I consider the only solution today is innovation. Italy could give a great opportunity in this uh, in this uh, in this field it's important to work together with uh, big players in the innovation system so italian universities so the the possibilities opened by the globalization and uh, i think the chicago context could be a place particularly attractive for everyone so uh, i believe in this, uh, in this meeting, not in a formal meeting, but in a very concrete uh, opportunity for both. And I consider important to stop my speech exactly to help you to um, start with the debate. But let me be last uh, thing particularly important for me. Two weeks ago, Brussels attacks. Before Brussels, a lot of taxes, attacks in Europe, Paris, but not only Paris. And after Brussels uh, attacks, uh, you can imagine a garden in Pakistan in which a little group of uh, children who stay in with the family were destroyed by terrorism and by Taliban, by the enemies uh, of uh, freedom. So why I use this expression and uh, I use this uh, bad news in our debate? Because uh, in Europe, a lot of times, we feel a climate of fear of the future. We consider a future as a great threat, not a great opportunity. Let me be very clear. We can fight against terrorism and extremism and violence everywhere in Europe, United States, in Asia, everywhere. We can destroy this terrible enemy. But at the same time, we need a very different approach. Because the risk is uh, close ourselves in the fear, cl close ourselves in the terror. The goal of terrorists is kill us, but without, if there is not in condition to kill us, the goal is force us to, to live in the terror and in the fear. I consider a priority for us invest in the future with more determination also as answer to risk of fear. And the cooperation, the traditional cooperation between the United States and the Europe, United States and Italy could give an opportunity, a more opportunity, particularly in this moment, it's not true. We, this is a time difficult. Yes, we have a lot of difficulties in this time, but we can face to difficulties with determination, with the powerful, with the strong presence of our entrepreneurs, our researchers, our professor, our people who believe possible build an idea, dif a different idea of future. So this is the reason for which I'm really happy to be here. I very appreciated the, the, the presence of the mayor. I consider for you, entrepreneur, important the possibility to open a dialogue with the colleagues in uh, Chicago, in Illinois, and in general with the 
most important players in the universities, but my message is only one. The future is wonderful. It's not easy to say in Italy, the future is better than the past. This is a message by American people. This must be the message also for Italian people. Thank you so much, Ram. Thank you so much, Ambassador Varicchio.